Now in the first section of our lecture acoustic neuroma we will talk about the overview of acoustic neuroma and in this overview we will talk about the incidence of acoustic neuroma versus the pathology and growth of a tumor or acoustic neuroma and classification of acoustic neuroma so acoustic neuroma is uh, also known as uh, vestibular schwannoma. It develops from the Schwann cells. Schwann cells are the cells which uh, covers the nerves. So it develops from the Schwann cells. So it's also known as vestibular schwannoma and also neural lemoma and eighth nerve tumor. Eighth cranial nerve is the vestibular cochlear nerve. So it develops from the eighth nerve and it's also known as the eighth nerve tumor. If you see in this diagram, this is the acoustic neuroma and then we have uh, the cochlear nerve and the vestibular nerve and the vestibular cochlear nerve is the uh, eighth cranial nerve. So acoustic neuroma also known as schwannoma, neural lemoma and eighth nerve tumor. And this is the site for the development of uh, acoustic neuroma close to the cochlear and uh, vestibular nerve. The incidence of acoustic neuroma is 80% um, of acoustic neuroma develop are present in the cerebellopontine angle. Cerebellopontine angle is this area, cerebellum and then pontine angle. 80% are cerebellopontine and then 10% are about all the other, uh, all of the brain tumor, different parts of the brain are affected and 80% are in the cerebellopontine region. Pathology of the acoustic neuroma. Acoustic neuroma, if you see in this diagram also, they look like a, a localized encapsulated benign lesions uh, grow very slowly. This, they are not fast or rapid growing tumors. So benign, benign is uh, localized. They do not metastasize to the distant areas. They are encapsulated. They are present in the capsule. Very slow growing tumor of eighth cranial nerve, which is the vestibulocochlear nerve. Uh, the cells which are present inside the acoustic neuroma uh, are the cells. They are spindle shaped cells with rod shaped nuclei which are present in rows or palisades. So cells are elongated spindle shaped cells, spindle shaped cells and they are elongated and rod shaped nuclei and they can be in the rows, straight rows or they are in palisades means like a radiating pattern. The origin and growth of uh, acoustic neuroma, the acoustic neuroma arise from Schwann cells. Schwann cells are the cells which are the covering of the nerves. That's why they are also known as schwannomas. Cochlear division of eighth cranial nerve. It's vestibulocochlear. So it arises from Schwann cells and the cochlear division of eighth cranial nerve. Then once it is arise and form, then it cause widening and erosion of the auditory canal. So once form, it grows and cause erosion or destruction of the canal. 
appear, appears in mostly we said, uh, I mentioned in the previous slide that 80% of acoustic neuromas are in the cerebellopontine angle. So they appear in the mostly cerebellopontine angle. Uh, and then it, there are two directions it takes for the growth of this tumor. It can grow entero superiorly upward and then it grows downward inferiorly. And depending on the growth, which direction it's growing, the effects it produces, they depend on the uh, direction of the growth of the tumor. If it grows entero superiorly, it involves fifth nerve. If it grows inferiorly, it involves the ninth, tenth, eleventh cranial nerve. So depending on the direction of the growth, if it grows superiorly, it affects mainly the fifth cranial nerve. Fifth cranial nerve is the first is olfactory, then we have optic, oculomotor, trigeminal. So fifth cranial nerve is the facial nerve that innervates the, it mainly has five branches that innervates the uh, muscle of the facial muscles in different parts. So fifth cranial nerve is affected if it grows uh, superiorly and 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th cranial nerves are affected if it grows downward or inferior. And then it causes, because of the growth of the tumor, it affects, causes displacement of brain stem. And then with the uh, displacement of brain stem, there is increased pressure on cerebellum and this can cause increase intracranial pressure. So all these are the effects of the growth of the tumor. As the tumor grow, even it's very slow progressing, but ultimately growth of the tumor cause displacement of the brainstem, increases pressure in the cerebellum and increase intracranial pressure. And all the symptoms that later on develop are due to increase intracranial pressure as a result of the growth of the tumor. If it grows superiorly, affects the facial nerve. If it grows inferiorly, affect 9, 10th, 11th, and 12th cranial nerves. Classification of acoustic neuroma based on the size of the tumor. It can be intracanalicular inside the canal and then when it is confined to auditory canal. Its small size is up to 1.5 centimeter, medium size is from 1.5 to 4 and above 4 is large size. So all the uh, uh, classification of acoustic neuroma, depending on how big it is, if it's in the uh, uh, intracanalicular means it's inside the internal auditory canal. Small size is up to 1.5 centimeter and then medium and large size. And you see, this is the acoustic neuroma, and this is the facial nerve. If it grows superiorly, it can affect the facial nerve. And if it goes downward, it can affect other cranial nerves. So that was all about our section one of acoustic neuroma in which we talked about the overview, incidence and classification of acoustic neuroma. Thank you for watching scardia.com.